Video number three, starting work on your first row unit. The first thing we need to do is check each parallel arm bolt and make sure there's enough room for a hex bushing on the outside of the arm. This problem usually only comes up on the front support plate near hinge points. If you have a spot that there's not enough room for the hex bushing, please call us. We have another bushing that can be used in this location with your old bolt or with our new bolts with 11 16 shoulders. Next, we're going to take the arms off and start reaming them for our bushings. You can take one arm off at a time, or you can use a forklift or a cherry picker to pick the row unit up and remove all arms. We like to remove them all at one time by picking the row unit up and taking loose the four bolts from the front support plate. This allows you to move the row unit back to finish taking the arms off and gives you easier access to the front support plate. When the arms are off, you are ready to start reaming them. You will know which size flange bushing you need from the previous video. Use the appropriate reamer. Run the drill press as slow as it goes and use oil. Ream all eight holes for this row. On John Deere planters, please check your lower arm to see if the surface our flange bushing presses against is flat. Some of the lower arms will have a ridge on the outside that if ground off and repainted will allow our flange bushing to set better against the arm. Next, you place the template in the hole and clamp it down with vice grips. You then mark a hole with a 3 16 drill bit. Do this for all eight bushing holes. You then drill each marked hole out to 25 64 all the way through. When this is done, if you have a John Deere planter, you need to see how many rows are on the inside and how many are on the outside of the front support plate. On some John Deere planters, there may be a mix of both, so you need to look at each row as you press the bushings in. The arms will always be on the outside on the row unit, and if they are on the outside of the front support plate, they would all be pressed in from the outside. If they are on the inside of the front support, it will be pressed in from the opposite direction on each end of the arms. When you are sure which way to press the bushings in, you're ready to start. A hydraulic press works the best to do this, and it has to have a flat surface to press against our bushing. Make sure the bushing lines up with both holes, and then drop the pin in the hole. Slide it under the press and press the bushing in. For inside mount arms, you can just flip the top arms over and press one in from each side. On the lower arms, if they are inside mount, we place the pin in the hole on the bottom, then press it in. When you have all bushings pressed in, you are ready for our next video.